Hello, boys and girls. As you can see, we are back in Oxygen Not Included and we got an update here, which infects our uh, space scanners uh, that, uh, let's unpause the game, that we plan to uh, place here and then have a second down there. But if I read the uh, the update note correctly, uh, this means the scan quality uh, is based on how much sky you cover. So basically you want to spread out a few uh, space scanners uh, horizontally uh, and not just have two above each other and then you are done. Um, but that should still be good. Uh, the other good thing that uh, was in the update is that the scanners, um, they are affected by machinery nearby and apparently that's no longer the case because uh, last time we started to dig out things up here so we can harvest and so on but we also eventually want to get to the next rocket uh, for which we uh, st need uh, uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and we have to cool that uh, from liquid form and Therefore, we want to have that machinery as close by as possible. And looking at the dimensions that we need for that, I think it's uh, 20 wide and uh, 16 high. So uh, it would fit somewhere in this space probably a bit bit further up um, so probably uh, we need to uh, cancel out these things here also this this level because then we can nestle it in down here and we can have um, the scanners up there and I would say uh, let's have the first scanner really here on this side um, so we can also cover a bit of that area and uh, down here we will have uh, a bit of uh, a space occupied by uh, the machinery um, but the further we go towards this side then we can load the scanners and then they have a wider angle so we need less scanners to cover the whole night sky. All right, so I think we will continue where we um, uh, left off last time, uh, getting a set up uh, up here so that we can harvest things coming from above, uh, which basically means um, waiting for the duplicates to do the hard work. So let's skip ahead. Uh, until we have some meaningful progress here. We are still making progress. Up here I started replacing the bunker tiles with actual bunker doors. And according to my calculations, with this power we can power all the doors up to here. But of course the automation wire um, 
that can go to all of them. And I set up the lattice up here all the way to the other side in the right pattern. So that's what they are working for now. And then I think the next thing is we want to get these bunker doors in place so we can add everything down here. And then this is probably the width of space that we need for our setup for uh, liquid oxygen and hydrogen. We need to dig a bit further down but then we also have to see where we want to place our next uh, sensor as you can see we have a nice overlay of the range here so either we can put it up here or if possible i want to put it down because in the space between uh, this mesh tile and whatever is below, I want to place a few solar panels because um, looking at those batteries over here, they are not overly charged. Uh, of course, if we get closer to our main uh, generator plant, we will see batteries that are better charged. But uh, we have not yet hooked up any of the bunker doors, which will require power to open and close. And we have not hooked up any of the robo miners. So these will also take quite a bit of power when they're running. And unfortunately, it all comes in sequence. Bunker doors open and then all the rubber miners will fire to get rid of the regolith that's dropping down from below. So we will have peak there uh, and we have to make sure that we can cope with that. So I think our duplicants still have a way to go um, until we can call this episode done. I mean, this is probably something I want to tackle in, in a few episodes. But for now, I, I just want to make sure that we have the proper space in here. And for this kind of, uh, of uh, setup, we need, of course, vacuum. And here, being in open space, we already have that. So only... Uh, Basically, the vacuum is the first step, but then you add in a certain gas. So in that context, the vacuum is, is not that, that great, but we can add drywall as a, as, a, as a back and create our own room in the vacuum. And that, I think is easier uh, than uh, the way we have to do it down here where we basically pump out the all the gases to make sure that we can fill in the right one all right um as i said there is still more to do for our duplicates Quite a bit of time has passed and uh, some things needed to be taken care of. For example, up here, I removed this uh, cleaning setup or part of it. 
that never work because it's just too cold, water freezes in the pipes, pipes break, it was a mess. And the result was that from up here uh, we have quite a bit of high pressure, uh, 7 kilograms per tile that goes into the base so I closed this off here with a door and this in turn uh, had the result that we have quite a bit of carbon dioxide here in the lower portion so I put a second uh, carbon skimmer down here because the pressure was so high that um, uh, my duplicates got uh, uh, popped earrings, which caused quite a bit of stress, which is not good. But I think now we have that somewhat in check. Uh, also placed a carbon skimmer down here, where we are now at uh, 8 kilograms uh per tile we started out with above 10 and currently we are lacking a bit of uh, of power because hydrogen is uh, is not running then this one is not running and of course petroleum we only get when we operate here with a duplicate um, so I think we need more power in the near future oh and uh, we also completed one or two rocket missions uh, we are almost there with the research and once we have that out of the way we can replace the uh, these modules uh, and uh, have the cargo base in there to get some goodies back and up here they are still working uh, what I want to achieve is have these two modules completed and then we can hook up the, uh, the bunker doors and everything up to this point should then work uh, here on that side they managed to almost complete it uh, not entirely uh, I think we need another uh, entry here somewhere to the to the middle uh, because the the way is is just too long um, but I think we want to have a second space scanner probably here on this side because our contraption uh, nicely fits in here and then from here on we can then have solar panels and more space scanner further down but that's probably something to tackle um, next time so for now let's let's complete this one up here and uh, then see how we will manage with the uh, with the opening of the doors ah, that will not yet work we need to have the airflow tile down there uh, but we can connect at these pipes and then we have to cancel the middle bit because here we want to have radiant pipe and the way this works we have a bit of drivel back there then on here a bit of petroleum and then we have this cooling loop so the robo miner will actually be cooled uh, while operating now we can set this up and there is the safe cycle 
yeah should not be uh, too far off until we are done there at this point all the miners uh, are in place uh, here a bit uh, mesh tile not so forward because uh, when this door opens um, it's probably better if things are falling down because we can have impact from from uh, meteors that are a bit sideways and that could hit the, the tiles down here so there we are good then the next thing is uh, probably we want to do that and having a look at the cooling system we need to connect the, the two pipes here with a bridge preferably but then i also noticed uh on this end yeah we still have a bit of of work to do well, let's plan this out and then the other one uh, like this right and then how do we go from here i think we can do that which means we have a bridge going that way and then we will take this one up here so that means water flows in this direction so it comes in from the lower pipe which means we have a bridge this way and with that we sh should have our cooling loop and then i think if we have a second scanner over here we should be good enough uh, to hook up our doors they are all powered and the important part here is that uh, all the the wiring the electric wiring and the automation wiring that's inside the door has to be steel otherwise it would melt because of uh, hot stuff on top right i think that's good here we are also full which means we can shut this off we can retract the gantries we can open here and then go on to the next mission which might actually be the last one that we need um, for uh, bringing back um, uh, data banks you can see here uh, we have uh, four things ticked off the last thing not because we only have four research model instead of five so uh, let's go to this one that will bring us back another four and then i think that should be good enough because here we are missing about 150 very nice let's stick this part out and then 
we will wait. Ooh. I did a bit more work on this side. We will disable the auto repair on all these ladders so that if they're hit by meteorites, we will not spend any additional material on them to repair them because the duplicates can still walk on them. All right, so I think once we have the, the pipe in place, then only the second scanner is, is missing. All the pipes are now connected. Uh, so let's turn this pump on. Then we should see Jolium is going round and round and then we finished this mission control station which apparently has to be in a room um, so actually I'm not too terribly fast about that station but then let's see we want to place the auto scanner over here and have a ladder going there. Um, we will put power and we will have the wire also going through here and then make everything here priority six and there our rocket came back let's close the doors um maybe this one we need to repair but now we should have all the data banks that we need to uh, to complete our uh, research and then uh, we can switch out the uh, uh, research modules uh, with uh, cargo modules to bring back goodies which will then go into this setup as well uh, as uh, future materials from outer space but i think we are still a few um, episodes away there um, so we will probably focus on different stuff for the for the time being and um, once we have that covered uh, then we can deal with that maybe we need a bit more petroleum in here because now that we have more petroleum in the the various loops the level is sinking and of course if it would sink so low that uh, this pump uh, can no longer reach it then we do have a problem but i think for now all we have to do is wait until this setup is done and then we can connect um, the automation wire to the doors um, in here there is already uh, a piece of uh, steel wire so we only have to connect it up to this one because this is the last door that we can operate with uh, with this power cable and this will be the last robo miner um, that we can operate 
on this cable. And then for the rest, we will have to check and deal with, with a different power supply. But that's also a future project. So let's wait for the duplicates to finish this piece of work. As you can see, we have a meteor shower. We have hooked up both scanners. And usually, at least with the uh, old setup, uh, what you did is, uh, or what you aimed for is, you want to have a scanner quality, which is just high enough so that you can detect incoming meteor shower uh, so long before that you have a chance to close the doors. Uh, and with just one scanner, uh, there is a random chance the uh, event is uh, detected early on. Uh, but for sure, uh, it gets detected um, when the meteor shower hits. But of course, you need to have that a bit beforehand uh, so you have the time to close the doors. And in the past, all you needed was two doors or two scanners. And now that uh, we do this because in here we have uh, automation wire made out of steel or we should have all right then let's see how this uh, this works in uh, reality okay here we do have an issue. We do have an issue because we get four, uh, four tiles there. So okay, that does not work as intended. So let's deconstruct the wire there so that we can fix everything here and let's see uh, we can see it here we can actually pull this down to here then all the way to there need that and we will break this okay I think I have to to fix this up until the next time and once that is closed or that is broken, all the doors will close again. And probably here, we want to have a bunker tile there so that we do not get any drops on here. 
All right. Well, let the, the duplicants do their work and then we can move ahead. So, until next time, goodbye.